The Environment Subcommittee is comprised of the following members. The Director of Environment, who chairs the committee, and representatives from the oil companies, that is Delta and Sol, St. Christopher National Trust, St. Kitts and Nevis Defense Force, that is the Coast Guard Division, St. Kitts and Nevis Fire and Rescue Services, the Parks and Beaches Unit, the Department of Marine Resources, the Department of Maritime Affairs, the Solid Waste Management Corporation, Public Health, and representatives from NEMA on St. Kitts and from Nevis as well. The Environment Subcommittee is mainly responsible for assessing impacts to the natural environment with respect to any disaster situation. Prior to the onset of an event, the sub subcommittee is responsible for developing response plans for disasters, which should include recovery plans for ecological sites. In that regard, the Environment Subcommittee is responsible for not only conducting environmental damage and need assessments, but also in ensuring that personnel are trained in the assessment techniques. Currently, as hurricanes are one of our most imminent threats and pose the greatest potential for disaster, there is ongoing vulnerability assessments for key ecological areas, including our guts and watercourses, our coastal ecosystems, including beaches and reefs, and our forests. Prior to the onset of a hurricane, baseline assessments are conducted for each beach on each island, as well as assessments of each hiking trail. Following a disaster, damage assessment is conducted for each beach to identify beach loss and ecosystem damage. The forest is assessed for landslides and tree loss, whilst trails are assessed for damage and accessibility. Alternative roads that run through forested areas would be assessed for accessibility. Waterways are assessed for blockage, and in that connection, we are partnering with the Water Services Department from this year to assist with the assessments in the forest. As it pertains to COVID-19, the environment is probably the only sector that has benefited from COVID-19. While worldwide lockdowns and stay-at-home orders, with worldwide lockdown and stay-at-home orders, the environmental ecosystems have actually been granted a much needed reprieve from human interactions. It has been noted in many media articles that as vehicular and foot traffic have lessened, natural ecosystems and biodiversity have consequently begun to thrive. I am positive that when this is all over, there will be a marked decrease in global greenhouse gas emissions, a much needed break for the climate system. Additionally, with the reduction in vehicular traffic and human activity overall, we are experiencing less air pollution, less pressure on our natural resources, and less impact on our flora and fauna. Whilst the consequences of the virus have been so detrimental to the human population and the global economy, it has conversely resulted in a much needed breather for the planet. I pray that the lessons we are learning from this virus impact are not lost in the noise. We have not been kind to our planet, and who knows, maybe this virus is a planet fighting back. It is my hope that our new normal provokes us into taking a much needed new perspective on how we can discover real and lasting solutions that will be mutually beneficial, not only for mankind, but also for the natural resources that sustain us. Thank you.